All right, so percentages are notoriously tricky on the SAT. All right, so we gotta be really careful. I strongly recommend that you use a formula. Even if you think you've got percentages down, you can just start punching things in the calculator. I recommend a formula because if we get these wrong, it is almost always because we didn't follow a formula and we should have. And the SAT, whether it has answer choices or not, is trying to get us to make the mistake. So this is a pretty simple percentages situation. We have a of percentage, which means we're gonna use the open formula. And this is the version that's most simple. It just looks like the word open. That's why it's called the open formula. Basically what it does is it lets us compare an original number, an original value by uh, multiplying it by a percentage. And then that equals some sort of new value. So what the SAT is always gonna do is they're gonna give us two of the three. And what they love to do is give us the two that don't really feel intuitive in terms of how we normally think of percentages. So that's what exactly what they're doing here. So the 96%, that's easy, right? We're gonna put that in for the P. The only thing there is that's gonna go in as a decimal. And this is just very common in math. When we talk about percentages, we just use out of 100. But when we think about percentages in equations, most of the time we are going to use it as a decimal. So we gotta move that decimal point two spots. So 100 becomes one. 96 becomes 0.96. Now, what is this 432? 432 is not the original value. That is the new value. That is the result of taking 96% of some other number that we don't know. So we don't know the original. We know the new. And this is exactly what they were hoping we would miss because it's very tempting to just do 96% of 432 because that's how we think about percentages. It's a multiplication problem. But in this case, because of what they gave us, it's a division problem. In order to solve for X, we need to divide both sides by 0.96. It's gonna cross it out here and it's gonna let us get the actual answer, which is 432 divided by 0.96 and I get 450, and that is the actual answer. So look, maybe you're thinking this is a lot of work, this is a lot of explanation for something that I knew that was so obvious. But again, the SAT is just really consistent on how they try to use percentages to mess with us. And just in my experience as a teacher, the human brain is really not equipped to handle percentages intuitively. We're just not good at it. And so the more you can kind of just write stuff down and rely on a formula, the less you'll have to rely on your brain and the less chance of a careless mistake. They are going to try to trick you, especially as we get later in the section. So get good habits when the questions are easy and you'll reward yourself with more points when the questions get harder.